Hey guys, Tony Smith with Denison Yachting. Today I'm here with Michelle Cerullo. And Michelle is actually my cousin. So Michelle, what are you doing here in France? I am having a great time, first and foremost. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm absolutely enjoying myself at this yacht show. I was originally in Switzerland and thought it would be nice to come see you and take a little vacation and see what it is you do. I want to show you a few features and get, get your feedback. Any questions that you have as we go around, just let me know, okay? Okay. So this platform here, this is actually a hydraulic platform, so it's a high-low platform. You can put a huge tender on this. Another really neat thing that I love is you can see down here in this area, that actually retracts down and there is a jet ski there. So you can actually recover a jet ski and then there's a little garage. We're gonna to try to take a look at that later. Amazing. Okay, cool. And then the last thing I love about the platform is it can be flush between the sugar scoops and be a beach club as well. So a really versatile area. Beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and walk around to the bow and I'm gonna show you a few things. So this feature here, obviously huge sweeping windows the whole way. And you'll notice that they have the bulwarks cut out. The reason that they do that is so you have basically a floor to ceiling view from the interior of the water. Okay, so this is our forward lounge or forward cockpit on the boat. In this area, it almost feels like it's, it's hard to even fathom that you're on a mega cab <laughs> like this because we've got a huge space here. This is basically a forward lounge and forward cockpit area. I would get a cocktail immediately. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and lounge right here. Okay. And watch the sunset. I'm a little bit taken back by the size of this, but this is my spot. This is your spot. Yeah. Very good, very good. On a sailing cat, obviously you've got your standing rigging, you got lines, ropes, all this other stuff that you got to kind of interfere with. On this, this is all just about pleasure and entertainment. So we span the full length between the two different halls. This area here, this whole daybed area, each one of these can fold up to be a chase lounge area so yeah. really cool the other thing that i love about the boat again we've got the uh, hydraulic door that will open to the main salon and then we've got this whole sunken lounge area here which is just super cool it's little details so you're asking me before what yeah. these little suckers are here so these are actually lights that pop up and again beautiful little details like that make this boat just an entertainer's dream you can imagine we've got what 10 lights on each side you can have a little evening party here underneath the uh, stars. Just a really great area to uh, relax. Uh, again, why I absolutely love Sunreef. They're my favorite mega cat. They're really the only real mega cat manufacturer in the market. Yeah, and this is just a, I think this is a well thought out feature. Yeah. Because I even was wondering, you know, if you're out at night, how do you- How do you use the you, area? Yeah, yeah. And, so, and so that's a nice, that's a nice surprise. It's a nice feature. touch. So one interesting thing on this boat, I was actually on this boat last year with the original owner and he was using it to cruise around the Med. Brought another client here and they were saying, oh, how much is dockage and worried about the expenses. He actually anchored this boat out the majority of the time. So he wasn't even paying for a slip. And the beautiful thing being here in the south of France, we can literally just hop 10, 5, 10, 15 miles a day and see a different environment, burn hardly any fuel, just to anchor out where you want to. So uh, this boat is designed for that and it's so nice. You're fully self-sustained when, you, when you're out and about. Here we are at the cockpit area. So the cockpit is our open area in the back of the boat and that's standard boating terminology. Beach house vibe. You'll see what they've done is this table here is antique, so it actually matches the floor. Very beautiful, sustainable, durable material. Great chairs, very to lounge out. This is the uh, garage that I was showing you there. So that's got uh, sea dew jet ski in. And then the other neat thing is this area here can be used for storage, where you could actually have like scuba tanks and other gear like that. So you can load the tender up, you go dive, use this as a recreational platform. It has a day head here, a head that you can use without going through the interior of the boat, like if you're all salty and stuff like that, want to use the, the restroom there. And then over on the port side, it has a separate entrance, and that's the entrance down to the crew quarters. The other feature i got to point out here is these sliding doors. So we have four glass doors, and it's nice because if you're just going in and out and you want to conserve the air conditioning, you can just use one door. If you want, you can do two doors, or if you have an event, you can have all four doors open and it really connects the 
cockpit area with the main salon all seamlessly. Okay, so here we are. They call this the salon. Very beautiful. We've got a couple different levels of couches. And again, it says beach house. The colors, the fabrics, the yeah, textures. Super neat. And again, the sunroof, every single sunroof is unique. And I'm in love with this boat because they totally nailed it. A family lived on this boat originally. They designed it for extended cruising. There's plenty of natural light, but this in particular really brings the light to another level. It sets level. it apart, yeah. yeah. By having the recessed light in this area, you know that you're in this lounge, you know that you're in the galley, you know that you're at the dining space. So they've done a really great job uh, with the design. So this is our large uh, dining room table, obviously. It could be moved around, it could be changed. Like it, This boat is so sweeping and open, like you could actually move a lot of the stuff, have a big party or event, like if a corporation ever owned it. Uh, but the way it's set up now, it's just very set up to be nice and warm and uh, family oriented. It feels family oriented. Yeah. But also like I could have, you know. A party. A nice number of <laughs> guests. While we're here, I wanna show you the helm of the boat and some really neat things that Sunreef has. They have this automation system here. So everything on the boat is intelligent. So all the tank is, so diesel, water, um, any of the uh, waste, all of that is tracked here. So you kind of know the status of the boat. It also connects to all the electrical systems. You can turn underwater lights on, you can turn interior lights on and off. So it's really neat to have an intelligent boat. And like I was saying before, Sunreef and technology are just super cutting edge. So these are your bow thruster controls. So it actually can send the two hulls sideways with the bow thrusters. And then you've got your traditional action throttle here, as well as another control for the ZF in a joystick. So super nice. And then you do have your typical steering wheel when you're underway. So this is a really cool place from a technology standpoint. You've got circuit breakers and everything over here. The crew has its radios. And if you are in foul or bad weather, you can drive the boat from down at the lower helm. If you're enjoying yourself and enjoying the day, you can drive from the upper helm. So functional area on this boat. This, although it's a work of art, it's actually very functional. So you get a washer dryer here, cold storage, cold storage, as well as normal storage. So on a boat, obviously you wanna have as much storage as you can. Having the galley up is awesome. There's a huge fridge, but this boat, again, was designed to take extended missions. And in that, having, you know, just really ease of use. The other thing I like about having the washer dryer here, it's like anyone, any of the cabins, if you're doing laundry, they can come up here. It makes it all very centralized. I would have never known this. It looks so camouflaged into the beauty of the boat. The exactly. Washing machine. <laughs> Who knew? There you go. They call the couch the settee. So this is an L-shaped raised settee here. Forward facing and a really nice kind of lounge area. They do have a printer set up, so, and then also a Sono sound system. So other little kind of like home amenities in the boat. So it's a nice area. We're gonna take a look at the galley next. So in boating terminology, they call the kitchen area is the galley. The galley. The galley, exactly. So again, this is a center line or centered island of the galley. And then here, you wouldn't expect it, this is actually a high-low TV. So there's a whole television that'll pivot up here and then it can rotate. On a boat, you can have galley up like this or you can have galley down. We're seeing a lot of people, especially like in a family environment, want a galley up design. And the nice thing with this is it really does kind of connect the whole family together. And again, this boat was used for extended missions, cruising around the med in a family type environment. So really great, like if you want to make your own uh, cup of coffee in the morning, uh, you want to hang out as a family, you get this whole space here. Kids can be, you know, doing schoolwork, hanging out, going swimming, you know, whatever they're doing. It's really just awesome to connect people. And then if you were to have like a larger event or entertain people, this is a great place to do food prep and certainly the ability to have the crew on board. You could have a real nice setup here. Yeah, the counter space I think is something that I personally really like about this spot. I'm surprised at, at how much surface area there is to work and, and I love to cook, so uh, this would be something that would be really perfect for me. I prefer the galley up. <laughs> there we go, I prefer the galley up too. Okay, one thing that we've got to talk about is this door here. So this door is actually a electric and hydraulically actuated door and we've got push buttons here that'll open up. Now why that's important is that leads us to our forward lounge and basically the forward cockpit area and that's gonna connect the whole boat together all the way from the transom or the back of the boat all the way up to the bow. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the starboard hull. 
I know a design trend that a lot of people are doing with um, some cabins is they're actually making them darker. With this cabin and having like the light feeling, it almost feels spa-like in a yeah. in a way. It, it smells just, spa-like it, too. Well, that too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, here in the shower area. So they've opted. They've got this nice rain shower here. You've got a wand, a separate toilet vanity over here. So a really nice guest stateroom. And again, this is a four stateroom boat. So let's go ahead and check out what the master looks like. So now this is really cool. So this is a master on a boat. <laughs> wow. Amazing, right? So spacious. Just brings a level of luxury. Feels more like a luxury hotel than a boat at this point. With this window, now again, I told you before, the signature is the three vertical, but Sunreef will customize their yachts. So this is an example of that customization. So here, the owners, they wanted this huge hull side window, and they also wanted that to open up. So you have a big porthole. It's hard to even call it a porthole. It's a big window that within the window that will open up. To take it one step further, if you can believe, they actually offer a balcony here. So you could have a fold out balcony from your cabin all the way out. Over in the forward part of the cabin, there's a really nice seating area there. We got huge hanging lockers on either side, inboard and outboard. And then again, notice these little details here. It just feels like a beach house. This is the master head, which is a bathroom on a boat. So they call the bathroom the head in this area. So again, what you're gonna see is really nice uh, materials here. Uh, they pick these and Sunreef is great for having like sustainable materials, which is something I really love about them. It has a separate enclosure for the toilet on the inboard side and then a fully enclosed outboard side shower. The shower has a nice, really cool rain head on it. Again, this is the first time I've seen a bathroom laid out like this and I think it's very beautiful, the space, the separate shower. This really stands out to me. I'm really in love with this design as well. You'll take one? I'll take one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and check out the other hull, which would be the port side hull. Okay, so first we're gonna go forward here. So this is the port forward cabin. It's always really important to like figure out where you're at on the boat. So port, port is left, four letters. So this is the left side forward cabin. So this is one of the VIP slash guest uh, accommodations here. So it mirrors some of the others and uh, has a lot of the same materials. And then here, again, you got the rain shower, you got the toilet enclosed area, like really nice to have this dedicated accommodation for the guests or if you're cruising extended time with your family. And the final stateroom we're gonna check out is the port aft cabin, which will mirror this pretty closely. Okay, so something really cool on this boat. You'll notice you've got little desks here. You wanna guess why? Well, either work from home, which I wouldn't do on this boat, but this, I could put, you know, some jewelry right here, actually. <laughs> Very good. You could totally use this as a vanity if you wanted, but this was actually used as a school desk. So the original owner, he had a couple kids, and he said, hey, we're gonna sail around the world, but you're gonna do your school work. They also have European power. They've got American outlets that run off of an inverter. They've got USBs, so you can plug in any phones, and then they actually have chargers for your phone. So you just throw your phone down, they'll charge up overnight. All right, Michelle, the last stop that I wanna show you tonight is my favorite area on this boat. So they call this area the Flybridge. Obviously, it's a flying big bridge that we're on, and it is awesome. This is like where you're gonna enjoy the boat, where you're gonna spend the most time when the weather is like this, which is incredible here in Cannes. So, Center line, we've got a beautiful table. Again, this is a nice teak table matching the one down below. Here, we've got a bunch of day beds across the back. Again, these can articulate up. So a really cool area just to hang out. And then the other thing that Sunreef thought of on this, they have storage down below. So okay. they utilize the full space in the boat as efficiently as possible. Over here on the uh, port side, this is where basically you have a summer kitchen. So yeah. that's what we call a grill. <laughs> the nice thing about having this up here, you've got an ice maker there, you've got cold storage, you have a full sink, full grill, you got everything that you need. And if you had a crew on the boat, they could be doing meal prep here. A feature that I really love here is these two opposing tables. Okay, so you've got uh, uh, L-shaped seating here, and then you've got the lovely teak tables, this mirrors. And so you can just imagine like if you're hanging out, relaxing, getting ready for dinner or whatever, you'd be hanging out here, 
People would set the table up, you could do your fine dining. And then even in the middle of the day, this is like just a great place to chill out and just enjoy the environment around you because you're like connected with the water when you're on this boat. Yeah, I like that there is enough space that you can be separate, everybody can have their personal space and that you can come together for your meal. Exactly, yeah. that's the whole theme of the boat is like, coming together as a family, but not getting on each other's nerves. So having yeah. the two opposing areas, you got plenty of area there to uh, hang out, relax, and then still be able to accommodate each other. So a beautiful thing is center line on the boat. Again, this is our upper helm. This is where we would drive the boat from. We've got all the ship systems. We've got our navigation. We have the MAN, so M-A-N. Those are the diesel engines that are on this boat. And that's actually a preferred diesel engine. Very, very efficient. But we have those displays that are integrated in with our Raymarine multifunction display. Sometimes at a helm, you just have like one forward facing seat. This, again, bringing people together. So you have a whole family of three or four chilling here. Everything underneath the nice molded hardtop. And then on the hardtop, it's actually a louvered hardtop. So it will open up if you want sun in or it can be completely shut as well. A nice thing that I like is you can actually stand up here and you can see down below. So there's our forward uh, lounge and cockpit area. Super fun, so say, you know, if you're up here, maybe the kids are playing down below or the adults are playing down below, you can still connect and talk to people. It's just super neat. It's like a paradise to uh, enjoy this space. This was way more than I expected out of this trip. And uh, I, I think I have flights for next year. <laughs> you should have flights for next year. To come year. back and see what's coming up. But, but yeah, this has been an amazing tour and an amazing boat. Yeah, if you wanna learn about boats, and, and that's what I said, this really like opens your eyes up to the world of like luxury yachts and uh, definitely love it. So it's been a pleasure to show you around the show and to visit. And we gotta say thanks to Sun Reef as well. They've been so nice and accommodating to let us see their boats and learn about their boats. And uh, I'm glad you're coming back next year. If you're in the market for any luxury catamaran, in particular, Sun Reef, we love them. Give us a shout. We're more than happy to help you out with this boat or any others. Mm -hmm.